if your new year's resolution is to read more better or at all then hi welcome you are at the right video and the right channel i'm smriti and i love to read books um and i like to talk about them and i also love to get people to also love books and get into the habit um as it is my most favorite thing in the world in this video i am going to be talking to you about some of my best and most obvious tips and tricks um to read more better or at all um as well as some uh questions that a lot of people ask um or should be asking with regards to reading and it's going to be fun i am hoping to make this a series where every sunday of this january i will be giving you some tips tricks recommendations all of that sort of stuff to help you read more better and or at all <laughs> and um yeah so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already for that um and let us just uh, begin before we begin i do want to say that i already have created a playlist called to help you read <laughs> which has a bunch of videos which will help you read so check them out uh, the first video which i think is the most pertinent to this one is answering your most basic questions on reading where i answered questions of how why what when of reading uh, it was the second video that i ever made on this channel um so check that out but now on to the tips uh the first tip that i have is carve out some time to read if something is your priority you should make sure that you carve out some time for it if you are that sort of person who can carve out a specific time of the day to read or to do anything great i would highly suggest before you go to sleep um uh, make sure that you do that if not also just say that hey in a day i will read for 15 minutes and that does not have to mean 15 minutes in one shot it could be 5 minutes 5 minutes 5 minutes throughout the day and you just know that that has all added up that is also great but make sure that you put that in your mind that you want to read for this much amount of time My second and the most important one according to me is read what excites you. If something does not excite you, if a book is not making you excited, do not read it. Even if it is an international bestseller, whatever, if it's not exciting, don't read it. Read something that is exciting for you. Um that is my most important tip. Number 2 is to read in all sorts of formats. Yes, uh physical books like this are very pretty and and lovely to hold in your hands but there are various other formats as well you can check out ebooks i for example read way faster um on a kindle than i do while in like an actual physical book there are also audiobooks which are amazing if you feel like you are the sort of person who can't concentrate on reading then definitely check out audiobooks it is basically a person reading to you it <laughs> life cannot get better than that it's great number 4 is to carry a book wherever you go i do realize we're in the midst of a pandemic and uh, we're not really going anywhere but the point is to basically have a book accessible um wherever you are if you are on a call which is being put on hold then you can just pick that book up and read it if you are in a line somewhere then you can pick up that book and read it and you also look cooler and number 5 which i also think is very important all of these five are very important but fifth is to engage with people who also love to read or are also trying to get into the habit um if you start off anything and you are doing it on your own um it is just 10 times more difficult but if you have people around you who are hyping you up who are also talking about going through the same journey or who have gone through the journey before and can help you with tips and tricks then <laughs> you know it just helps um so i would definitely recommend that you um subscribe to people <laughs> me but also there are so many others on so many different sort of platforms um be it youtube or um instagram or twitter or wherever you go you will find people um who also are going through the same journey and yeah i just think that that would be very very helpful Moving on to the questions uh these are questions that are either i am asked the most 
or um, I think definitely should be asked. I will be covering way more of this as, as the weeks follow, but uh, these are things that I felt like I needed to cover in this video. If you do have any more questions, however, please do um, comment down below and me or any of my other reader friends who are watching this will answer all of your questions down below. So the first question is, how do I decide what to read? And I think that this is such an important question to ask. Um, one is to go to a platform or to a, like for example a Goodreads or a Storygraph. Um, Goodreads is something that I am aware of. It is a place where there are basically all the books of the world are spoken about on that um, and there is like a list and all of that sort of stuff um, but then there are so many others uh, which are coming up like Storygraph which I personally haven't used yet but I know that a lot of my friends are migrating to that because they feel like it is a much better platform. However since I have not really used it I will not be able to talk to you about it in detail so I will unfortunately be talking to you about Goodreads now but once I get used to Storygraph I will maybe make an entire video about Storygraph as well um but yes my point was to get to platforms and to figure out platforms um which where people are talking about books um and to see what sort of books there are uh you can also go to your bookstore and see books that you think are interesting and honestly pick a book that is interesting to you how to realize whether a good is good or bad is by going and seeing the reviews that it has um essentially you can see the star rating but you can also what i would highly suggest is to also read reviews of people um and also also like maybe follow people on those platforms who you trust um, and who have maybe similar reading habits as you to see what they may feel about a book. A book may have a really high rating but if the person who you um, gel with in terms of your reading um, habits or like uh, preferences uh, thinks that this book isn't that great then you can keep that in mind um, whether and, and figure out whether you want to read that book or not. Another question that is also asked of me a lot is how do you keep track of new released books? Um, one is of course to just see on platforms like Goodreads etc they have a new release tab um, and all of that where you can see books based on authors that you follow as well as uh, based on genres so that is a great option. Um, the second one is to basically also follow publishers and see what they have to say. Um, if you don't know um, who the big publishers are then maybe just see a book that you have read and you have loved and see flip it to the back and see which uh, publisher they are um, and you can go to their website and maybe see the catalog of books usually they do have a catalog for the year um, so it is normally broken down into um, quarterly um, catalogs or like a half yearly catalog which it, it gives you an overview on understanding what are the books that are going to come out in that year so that is definitely a way to go about it as well um, and then of course there are listicles galore so that is another great way Another thing that is asked is um, how do you choose an underrated or a book that is not really part of a bestseller list or whatever and for that again I would say just follow people. Um, if you are looking for example for black authors then um, follow black book reviewers follow if you're looking for indian um books then follow indian book reviewers if you're looking for indigenous um books then follow indigenous book reviewers they will in all probability be talking about books from their community and be reviewing them and have like their own um own voices um review which will be the most authentic one so definitely do that another question that is asked um is how do you choose an author um, and I think that that is a very interesting although tricky question um, which is because there are so many amazing debut authors that are out there in the world however how do you choose between a good debut author and a bad debut author because there can be some very bad debut books <laughs> so I think to just if you are new to reading then maybe just a stick to um, authors who have already written previous works before and then maybe go to a platform wherein you can see all the reviews of all of their books and then just kind of average it out um, if you think that uh, the average is great then good if you see that the author is becoming progressively better and people are talking about uh, their books in in a better and better sort of way as their books have been published then maybe that is a good way to go about it as well 
um but yeah and also as i said just follow people um and and that should work i am also going to be making a video on my um best authors uh, which i think that you cannot go wrong with generally so stay tuned for that one the third and fourth question i'm going to combine which is how do you keep yourself motivated and how do you um sort of have that discipline in your life and i think that this um comes down to setting goals for yourself um i feel like there should be a big goal which is your macro goal uh, which is for example i am going to read 50 books in this year um and then there are your small goals which are your micro goals which kind of breaks down this um big goal that you have um and and kind of feeds into it um which is to say for example in a month i will read two books um or four books or um i am going to read more graphic novels this year or something like that but also way more minute in terms of i am going to read 30 pages today um and that really helps um i think that by achieving those small goals it adds on and gives you that confidence to kind of also try to achieve that larger goal as well um and that definitely keeps you me everyone motivated um that's what keeps me motivated in terms of having those small goals and just achieving those small 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 goals which just then add up um so yeah so that was my long convoluted way of saying that i also think that if you are starting off reading and you don't quite know what you like it is very important for you to stop reading a book that you think is not good um even if you've heard great things about it whatever it's fine if you're not enjoying it let it go uh, books always and reading always gets such a bad name because people are like oh my god it's so boring but the truth is that you just haven't found the right book yet so you just got to kiss a lot of frogs or read a lot of books <laughs> until you find the one that is for you another thing which i think is crucial to make sure that uh you stay motivated is to make sure that you do not compare your journey to someone else's um you have to read at your speed you read the books that you want to read um do not compare that to someone else's they are going on their own journey and and it's great for them but like you need to do what's best for you as well um and i think that that is really important don't get into the hype of like i need to read 50 books a year just read even if you have to read 10 books a year or 12 books a year make sure that those 12 books are going to be the best that you could and that could add something to your life um and that's about it that's fine that's great don't get into the hype and don't compare yourself to another person on that note i am often asked how to increase someone's reading speed um and how what are the tips that i may have to help someone read more and faster and all of that um and i will try to do a video on this because this is a question that is asked quite a lot however spoiler <laughs> the only way to go about this is just to read uh practice makes perfect and if the more you read the faster you get at at reading and that's that's essentially it um but yeah that's it i think in terms of the questions that i have for today if you do have any more questions as i've said please do um ask them in the comment down below comment section down below i have a bunch of other videos coming up in january as i said and i look forward to helping you with this journey um you can follow me on my social media which is sant reads um i will link all of that down below and you can dm me and ask me any questions that you do have and um that's about it okay uh, bye i hope you have a great sunday and i will see you in my next video bye